terms of design and what is a customer going to get, there's always that, well, what's involved, what's included, what's not included. We generally have a pretty good idea of the scope of the project by the time we get started. We're, we're just about there with overall shape and size, and I, I live in the world of what I call ishes, is it's going to be this ish and that ish. And the idea is if we have to measure everything to the exact dimension, then there's no freedom in that. So instead, we work in the ish world, where our ish is going to tend to be more, not less. The goal isn't to do less, it's to do more. And oftentimes, people don't know what that looks like. They don't know what, well, how big, how deep, how this, how that, and, and they want to know how I arrive at the solutions. A good example is, how deep is the pool going to be? Well, it's going to be based on not the traditional, does it have this, does it have that, does it... We don't build that way. It's what are the features, what are we going to do with it, and let's mold that so that it makes sense. Now we're looking for safety. Of course, we have some certain guidelines that we need to follow, but we build and we dig according to what's going to work best there. And yes, we have setbacks and lot lines and all those things that have to be. You have to pay attention to all of those. But there's a lot of gray area there in terms of how we could make the pool a little bit wider if need be, or a little bit deeper, or a little bit longer, and not affect those setbacks and those sidelines and those types of things. So ours is really by feel. When we're there, we know our absolutes, and then the issues work outside of those absolutes. If it's a 10-foot setback from a property line to the edge of the pool, we know that we can't get closer than 10 feet. We know that, but that doesn't mean we can't put some extra somewhere and do something different. So there's a lot of gray area, an awful lot of guys when you're building volume projects, you have to be very specific on a design and very specific on, it, on the details. And also realize that when you're very specific on that, that's the customer's expectation. And that's what they live by because that's the only thing they have all, hold, to hold on to. But if we set them up to realize that this is a flowing, evolving, changing thing, then that's their expectation, and they're not looking at a blueprint and going, you didn't do exactly this. No, we did this, and we did this, and we did this, and we did this. And they go, oh, okay. But if we have just that, and it's very tight specifics, then you need to deliver that exactly for, to fulfill your contract with them. In our case, we have a lot more flexibility and freedom.